The chapter starts where it left off in the last chapter 409. All for one's attack against Bakugu went awry, and he was now a little helpless baby, but still with the adult mind. I'm almost there, said baby all for one. I just need to give Tamura my quirk, so my consumed consciousness will strengthen, and the ultimate body will be mine. Then I will be able to get all these bitches. Just a little reminder again. All for one, who is over 100 years old and has stolen over 100 quirks, loses to a 16-year-old teenager with anger issues who can fire explosions. Absolutely insane. What a sick fuck you must be to pull that off. Anyway, he was a baby now and thought to himself, I can still win this shit. If I take Tamura's body, I'll be able to steal one for all. Unpleasant experiences leave a bigger impact, right? That's why I want to crash everyone's future. So everyone can see me forever and ever, were his thoughts. So he's basically exactly what we would have in our world if someone like Logan Paul were given absolute godlike powers. Okay, maybe not that absurd, but you get what I mean. So we went into the absolute endgame, all for one, as a little baby, about to dissolve into non-existence. He crawled forward, hoping to get to Tamura somehow, but as if that would be so easy, because Guru two years ago was still standing. Bakugu, with his face half open, cracked another mighty joke. He's at the death's door, or should I say, straight out of the womb. It'll be okay. I'm just gonna sleep now, he thought to himself. He was about to fall over when he remembered the past with his schoolmates. And that was the absolute anime moment, because through this absolutely random flashback, he gained strength and was able to stand still. Even All For One, who by the way looked like an absolute sex predator even as a baby, was surprised. My victory needs to be perfect, got it, thought Bakugo with gleaming white teeth. He brushes his teeth three times a day, but even as a baby, All For One didn't want to admit defeat and shot his last breakfast out of his mouth, a five meter long spear, and here it comes. The mangaka drew it in such a way that you'd think Bakugo had got the javelin in his head. I bet you at least 100 Bakugo fangirls have started screaming like girls in the old Justin Bieber days. But as I said, it only looked like that because Bakugo stopped the spear with his white teeth. So once again you can see perfectly my dear friends why it is very important to take good care of your teeth. And while the living bomb had caught the spear, it was also the absolute end for all for one. Because the now young old man vanished into thin air once and for all. No, no, I hate it, I fucking hate it, said All For One very relaxed as he disappeared into thin air. Meanwhile, all the people who had lost their quirks to him got them back, even Hawk, who also disappeared with a smarmy grin. And so it happened, the then-assumed main villain died and had finally lost. Meanwhile, Bakugo also went down but messed up because he actually wanted to do the famous All Might pose where he stands like the provider of the family and stretches his arm in the air. Do you best Izuku, he said, and so it went back to a flashback. The jeans man, best genist, drew up the tactics they had to adopt in order to win. Uh, so yeah, we need to defeat Shigaraki inside UA and protect Izuku because we can't let him fray the arena set himself free. Any questions? He asked the small group. Yeah, of course. We'd be at a smashing disadvantage, like what happened in Jaku. Have you already forgotten about that? Sunita asked smoothly. Shut the fuck up, Emo boy. You're not even one of the main casts, so be quiet, replied Best Genist. So it was on to discussions and tactics, which almost nobody was interested in, because it was all about flashy fights. So they came to the conclusion that it was important to simply protect Izuku. The rest of humanity had to play free for all. So it went on. Izuku's mother and many other people witnessed on TV what happened to Shizuoka, a big city in Japan if you don't know. It was absolutely destroyed, flooded, and pissed on, to put it kindly. A lot of families had lost a lot and at this point, if I had been a resident there, I would probably have shot myself. Just imagine this scenario. You're in a world full of superheroes and you have no power yourself. The whole world is going down the drain. There are mass murderers running around outside with superpowers so strong they could kill you in less than a second. You've lost your entire home because the whole city is destroyed. And both your friends and family have probably died in the destruction. And you want to tell me Discord's mods want to live in anime? But back to the action. We were in the almost completely destroyed city of Shizuoka where Tomura floats in the air like Yate when he's dropping a new album. Japan has almost 400,000 square kilometers of land. It won't take me a week to erase it from the map. There'll be no way to rebuild it. This will be a complete destruction, he thought to himself. Yep, that's exactly the kind of lunatic I'm talking about. But that would have been the scenario in a world without our Midoriya, who almost gave him a good kick in the stomach. Tomura was aware by now that All For One was dead, and there was only him left. 
Even though he didn't like Bakugo, he wanted to thank him because he had become stronger after all for one's death. So strong, in fact, that he is now just as fast as Midoriya. Just before Tamura would have pulverized Midoriya into pieces, Midoriya destroyed Tamura's hand at the last second. But now comes the absolute shock. Hold on tight. Even though his hand didn't connect him directly, Tamura was able to steal the Danger Sense quirk from Izuku, so the fight had only just begun. A fierce chapter in any case. Do you think Mineta will come in at the last second and strangle Tamura with his big balls? We'll find out next time. If you liked it, I would be very happy if you subscribed. Feel free to write in the comments what you want to see next. Otherwise, happy holidays and a healthy new year already.